The 2012 Communications Team Award of the Year goes to the 911 Dispatch Team of Citrus Heights, California. On Friday, October 28, 2011, at 12.06 p.m., dispatcher Heather Brown received a 911 call regarding a suicide attempt in progress at an unknown location in Germany. The caller was the soldier's stepmother, and the soldier was on another phone with his father. The young man had taken an overdose of a medication and had a loaded gun. Having been out of regular contact, the parents had no information about where the soldier was, and the stepmother didn't even have his birth date or social security number. The team had to start with nothing but a name. Stephen Rodwell took over all radio channels. Helen Zuniga took all other incoming calls. Amanda Schroeder became researcher-in-chief, and they patched through a call to the father's cell phone to connect Heather Brown to the father and son call, beginning at 12.27 p.m., at which time the son had been silent for 15 minutes. Thinking creatively, Brown asked if the son had sent any pictures from which they could identify his surroundings, and Amanda tried his Facebook page for clues. From an ex-girlfriend, the team was able to get a phone number and a place name, Grafenvir. Through numerous levels of military contacts, finally the Grafenvir police were contacted, and an open three-way phone call was established so that info could be relayed as it was found. Just after 1400 hours, Heather Brown heard a male voice in the background saying, wake up. Military police officers had found the location, forced entry, and found the son unconscious, but alive. He was transported to the Grafenvir hospital and survived. The team had shown that with skill, determination, professionalism, and an unshakable will to succeed, nothing is impossible. Congratulations to the 2012 Communications Team of the Year Award winners, Heather Brown, Amanda Schroeder, Stephen Rodwell, and Helen Zuniga. <laughs>